اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم بیک ٹو یور اون چینل ٹیکنیکلی انجینئرنگ اسکل ان دس ویڈیو آئی ول ایکسپلین یو ہاؤ وی ول کیلکولیٹ اپ کوانٹیٹی آف دا اسٹیئر کیس اوکے ان دس ویڈیو جسٹ آئی ول ٹیل یو اونلی اباؤٹ دا کنکریٹ دیٹ ہاؤ وی ول کیلکولیٹ دا کنکریٹ آف دا اسٹیئر کیس فار ایگزامپل جسٹ آئی ول ٹیل یو دیٹ ایف یو ہیو ون سلیف ریکٹینگولر سلیف ریکٹینگولر سلیف سلیف اوکے اینڈ سم باڈی ول ٹیل یو دیٹ پلیز فائنڈ آؤٹ دا کنکریٹ ہاؤ مچ کنکریٹ وی نیڈ پار دا سلیف So what you will do, you will find the volume, length, breadth and thickness and they will give you the quantity, quantity of this slab. But in this case, you have steps, you have some so rectangular blocks, you have to waste. So in this case, how you will find the quantity of the concrete? So today, our topics about how to calculate the quantity of the concrete so i have one request to up all you if you are new in this channel so please subscribe the channel click on the bell icons that you will get new video about the civil engineering uh, remember the name technically engineering skill technically engineering skill remember the name okay so let's go to start how we will calculate the quantity of the stairs before i will give you some tips that you will be know about it so let's go first of all i will give you some technical terms technical number one we need that we have to know about the size of rice what is rice so for example i have this one step okay step so this vertical portion we are called rise see here you will be find clearly this is rise the height a prior rise height should be not more than 8 inch okay should be from 6 inch to 8 inch Okay friends, this is technical term number one. Number second, tread. It's called tread. It is called the horizontal portion, it's called tread. See this, I mentioned it, it's called tread. So the tread should be not more than 12 and not less than 10. So from 10 inch to 12 inch, we have to make the size of tread the width of the stair by this, this is the stair this is the stair this is the width of the stair okay the width of the stair not less than 3 feet or 36 inch okay for example this we have the stair it will go like this okay then here will come landing and then will go like this so this one width of the stair should be not less than three bit okay friends thickness of thickness of the landing are best not more than six inch or 0.5 bit 
ओके फ्रेंड्स सो दिस इज सम टेक्निकल टर्म आई वाज गिवन यू दैट यू हैव टू नो बिफोर द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ द स्टेयर केस ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आई एम गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट द क्वांटिटी ऑफ द स्टेयर ओके फ्रेंड्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट हियर वी हैव द थ्री फोर पोर्शन This is called landing. Landing means once you go up, up, and the middle you will find some horizontal portion. You will stay, and then again you will go start up like this, like this. Okay. So this is the landing. You will stay here, and then you will go going up like this. And this is the roof. So you will be able to reach to the roof. This is floor, and this is roof. So from here you will go. Here you will stay. It's called landing. And from here you will go again and reach the top portion. Okay, friends. So let's start. First of all, I have to calculate the quantity of the landing. Quantity of landing. That. Volume of landing. I mean quantity. I mean that how much concrete should be required for this landing. So we have to find out the volume. So for the rectangle volume, we know length multiplied by breadth multiplied by thickness. So length. I already know that this is the length of the waist. So V is equal to three feet. Breadth. Also, I know I have three feet. And thickness, I know we have the six inch, so zero point five. It is it is a nine and nine multiplied by zero point five, four point five feet cube. So I got out that while you are press landing, it concrete required for. Concrete required for landing. How much is equal to four point five feet? Okay, this is the concrete which is required for the landing. So after that, I am going. To calculate the quantity of this two block, this is also rectangular block, also rectangular block. So for this cal volume of first block, volume of first block. So, for the total volume, I already told you that we have length multiplied by breadth multiplied by thickness. So, volume of first block is equal to C. Length already is shown. Length how much? Two feet. Okay, friends. Length already I given that I have the. Two feet length. Okay, and breadth already I know. This is the breadth of the staircase. This should be three feet. And thickness I know that we have six inch. Zero point five. So it will come to three zero six three cubic feet. Because What mean of thickness? This also called height. I will tell you its height. So height, I already know that the height of rise is a rise height. Six inch means zero point five feet. Okay. Breadth already mentioned here. See here, I I will tell you the two things. It is the cross section. For example, this is the stair I have like this. This is the stair. Okay. I cut in the middle like this. I cut it like this. 
so it becomes section and this is the plan see it it look like this once i see from the top view when i see from the top view it will look like this but once i cut but once i take and cut it will look like this okay so bring i take it from the plan that we have three as I, I already uh, calculated this land value for the landing it's been the taking breadth of landing is three feet so uh, the step thickness also should be three feet okay so this i calculate that three feet cube is the thickness as uh, the volume of the first block here we have one and other block second block so volume of second block i will go to calculate See now, uh, I'll calculate area uh, um, volume for this uh, block. Now I am going to find the volume of this block. Okay, so how volume of second block? So volume is equal to the same formula: length multiplied by breadth multiplied by height. Length already I know. See that we have one fit. Already, I have breadth. Already, I know we have three feet, and height. Already, I know we have six inch or zero point five feet. So volume is equal to three one thousand three is equal to one point five feet cube. Okay, friends. This I calculates the quantity of the uh, second step. Now I am going to calculate the quantity of waste. One, two, three, four. Already I calculated. Now I have remain waste and I have remain step. So for the waste volume of waste. Volume of waste. It's called waste. See, this is the waste of the steel, the slab. It's called waste of steel. So this also volume we have three dimension length multiplied by breadth multiplied by thickness. Okay. So here I have no length. I don't have. I I don't know what is the length of this waste. So first of all, I have to find the length of this waste, and you know, this is. I will give you one example here. It's called base. It's called perpendicular, and it's called hypotenuse. Now, at the moment, if you see here, this also is look like this. See. This, this, and this. You got me from here to here. Here, let's make one triangle. Make one triangle. Okay. So we know now. I have this nine feet. This also I have nine feet. This we have four point five feet. But I I don't need this two. I need this one. So we have the Pythagoras theorem. He telling that hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square. So I need hypotenuse square. I need only hypotenuse. I will take the square root here and will the square root here. It will cancel. So hypotenuse is equal to Under the root base square plus perpendicular square. Okay, so this hypotenuse is called. I uh, it means I will take this length. Okay, so this length should be hypotenuse is equal to under the root b. I have nine whole square plus perpendicular. I have four point five whole square. So hypotenuse is equal to under the root eighty one plus twenty one. Hypotenuse is equal to under the root hundred and two.
okay so hypotenuse is equal to 10.6 bit so now i bound this it from here to here this length we have how much 10.6 bit okay this how i bound this i bound from the pythagoras theorem so now i got this length this how much this length we have now 10.6 bit so now i can easily find the volume of waist volume of waist is equal to length i have 10.5 10.6 multiplied by thickness of waist i have 5.5 37 5.37 inch multiplied by multiplied by what's multiplied by thickness so thickness i multiply by breadth breadth i have three bit okay friends so now this value i have to convert to a bit so i even i convert to a bit we have to divide by 12 because this in the inch and this all going in the pit so first of all i have to convert this to a bit so v is equal to 10.6 multiplied by 1 i convert this to a bit it will come 0 0.4475 multiplied by 3 so while you up west will define 13 point by bit bit cube this also bit cube this is also bit only bit so in this case you see I also point out this quantity concrete part this step so in this see I found the quantity quantity required the other quantity of concrete which required at landing and first step and second step and the also part of the waste but now i have step balance that what will be what how much quantity should be required for this step okay so finally you got the volume how we have to find the volume so for the volume same formula we are using here area multiplied by length okay this is the volume or you can find the same length breadth and thickness this also a volume but this length breadth we are using in the rectangle but this area we have to find in the triangle because this ship is coming like this it's coming like this see it's coming like this it's in the palm of triangle so volume we have we know the whole area of triangle area of triangle is equal to breadth multiplied by height divided by 2 okay this area of uh, triangle and multiplied by length so it will be converted to the volume okay friends so let's go how we have to know the length breadth and height of the uh, triangle so as I told you so volume is equal to volume is equal to breadth breadth of the steps already I told you that not should be this is the breadth of the step not should be more than 12 inch or 1 bit so I have 12 the breadth height we have how much height we have 0 0.5 bit okay and then also i have the given 3 bit so let's i'm going to find the volume so volume is equal to breadth is equal to i have 1 bit multiplied by height i have 0 0.5 bit divided by 2 multiplied by 3 okay friends so this is now i will be find 
the quantity of one step so i have how much step one two one one two three four five six seven i have the seven step okay so eight nine so i have the nine step so i have the nine step i'm going to cover the quantity of uh, the step so volume of step is equal to volume of one step multiplied by number of step okay so very easy v is equal to volume of one step is equal to 1 multiplied by 0.5 divided by 2 multiplied by 3 now someone ask me that how this come one so i told you that i have this one step okay this one step i have this one step okay so i am going to calculate the quantity of this one step so how i will find i will find that how much the breadth one bit height i have 0.5 and it is three bit it will go like this okay so the breadth should be 3 bit so i found that area is equal to breadth multiplied by height divided by 2 and length already i have the 3 bit section now try you already clear the from the drawing we have the length or breadth or the uh, landing or the state we have three bit okay so 1 multiplied by 0.5 divided by 2 multiplied by 3 Whole number of steps we have how much? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have number of steps is equal to nine bit. So volume is equal to six point seven five bit cube. So now I calculate all the amount of steps that we have nine step in the stair. I also found the quantity of the steps, quantity of landing, quantity of waste, and quantity of the first two blocks. Okay, then. So now I'm going to add on the quantity. So all PCC is equal to all PCC or all concrete is equal to six point seven five plus thirteen point five. Plus ten point thirteen point five plus one point five and plus one point one point five plus four point five is equal to twenty nine point two five. So this is the quantity of the sphere case. That how we will calculate the quantity of concrete in the sphere case. Okay, friends. So now, if you want, how we will calculate the cement, pine aggregate, and coarse aggregate, and this amount of concrete. So I already made one video for this, like for this thing that how we are going to calculate quantity of cement, pine aggregate, coarse aggregate, okay, the steel. So you can find easily in this video. I will be give you link in the description. So if anyone who interested to know about how we will calculate the quantity of steel, quantity of concrete, so I will give you link in the description. Please check out. So you will find easily that how we will calculate the quantity of the concrete. So friends, if you like the video, if you want to get more information about civil engineering, structural design, or quality survey, please subscribe our channel, press the bell icon, and share with your friend. So this is. the topic for today topic inshallah we will see in the next video how we will calculate the steel part this type of the 
quad uh, rectangle type of the slab and quad rectangle upper circular type of the slab. So inshallah this video I will uh, upload I will upload soon to my channel and see you in the next video. Goodbye. Allah Hafiz.